Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, for the last week or so, I've been on a road trip. So I've been looking at passages in our video thought for the day that deal with the word road in the Bible in some way or shape or form. And, and I got an email from, from a buddy, Steve, who sent me an email saying, hey, why don't you at the end of your road trip flip the coin and talk about the importance of hospitality for others who are on the road. Great idea, thank you for the suggestion. So as the road trip that I'm on comes to an end, which all good road trips come to an end, I think it's appropriate that we look at the biblical idea of hospitality. Now hospitality is so very important. You find it throughout the pages of the Old Testament and the New. And if you're reading your Old Testament in Greek instead of Hebrew, or if you're reading your New Testament, there's this wonderful word for hospitality. And, and it's the word that I want us to consider for just a moment. Um, th this Greek word is uh, philoxenia, but it's actually a combination of two words. Philos is, is the word for friend or a, a friend type of love. And xenia just means a stranger. You, we get xenophobia, fear of strangers from it. So the word hospitality, as it's used biblically, in a very real sense, means this idea of being friendly to strangers. But it's, it's not just strangers, it's to others. And the Bible is not silent about it, but considers it a very important thing to do. In fact, in the letter to the Romans, Paul says in Romans 12, 13, that we are to pursue hospitality. Um, I think the English Standard Version translates it seek to show, but the verb is dioko in the Greek, and it, it means to chase after. We're actually to chase after opportunities to show to others our care and our love. Now that involves two different things in a sense. It certainly involves our actions, but it doesn't involve only our actions. It also involves our attitude. So if we consider, for example, um, when, when I was talking yesterday about the higher road that Paul writes in, the, the road of love, um, this idea is wrapped up in hospitality. I, I told you the first word is philos, the, this a friend type love. And, and so this is all wrapped up in that second great commandment of the Old Testament, to love our neighbor as ourself. Of course, when Jesus had the discourse with the lawyer about this, the lawyer said, well, who's my neighbor? Trying to draw that fine line on where to show his hospitality. And Jesus gives the story of the Good Samaritan that your neighbors, whomever you cross in your path that needs you or needs something you can help with or provide. It's a whole different mindset shift. And for some of us, it's a very strange one. Um, some of us uh, uh, don't, don't like uh, strangers. We're not comfortable around other people. We're not comfortable um, with this idea of hospitality, but it's something we should all pursue, not only for the stranger, but even for the friend. So here's your challenge for today's video thought. It's try to cultivate, try to pursue, dioko in the Greek, try to chase after an ability to show love, to show hospitality to others. And remember, the writer of Hebrews said in chapter 13, verse two, I think, that sometimes by doing this, we've actually entertained angels unaware. Think about it. It's your video thought for today.